In this tutorial, we're going to introduce a new object called Sprite Arrow, and it's going to live in our Sprite Sheet activity class. If you create a new Java object, name it Sprite Arrow.java. Here we have our constructor, and it takes in a context. The context will be given from the game loop into this object, and it will set the local context to this context. And internally, our object is going to mirror the game loop activities we've created in the past few tutorials. We're going to want an internal method that carries out a draw function, an update function, and in, in these methods we're going to control the behavior of our object. And also in here I've also got the density pixel converter we created a while back, that comes in handy. And if you save that, and we can go back into our layout file, activity sprite sheet 001 layout, at the very top we're going to create and use this new object. We're going to call this uh, sprite arrow sprite arrow one and inside our constructor we can say uh, sprite arrow one equals new sprite arrow this dot get context and our object doesn't have any methods inside it yet but that doesn't stop us from calling our update and draw in our little update delta t we can say sprite arrow one dot update delta t and we divide by, well, that was a conversion factor we had in the previous tutorial. I should probably put that in notes. Here's that in note form. So we've got the reason why we're doing that. We're getting our delta T in and delta T is in nanoseconds. We deleted that earlier. Trajectory values are in seconds. We'll just call uh, that um, physics calculations are in seconds. Okay, so we've got a sprite arrow dot update taking in a time step. Once it's taken in the time step, we're going to want it to draw something. So we're going to call that sprite's internal draw function, sprite arrow dot draw, and we're going to pass in our canvas. That's what I'd like to leave it at this tutorial. We've got an object. We've created a sprite arrow object with the methods draw and update, and we've put our object, and it now lives inside our game loop, and it's ready for some instructions on how to behave. Well, let's hit save and run. We've not done that in a couple of tutorials, and let's see what happens. I've created this fancy icon with the two arrows for our sprite sheet animation. So if I click on that, nothing happens. It's great. Uh, we've still got this red dot in the bottom right hand side and that just uh, verifies the X and Y lengths of our background. Yeah, so I'll just leave you again with the sprite arrow Java object. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.